Welcome to week two of the NECC spring season. Today we have the University of South Alabama's Overwatch team against Eastern Kentucky University White. Uh, and today I am welcomed with, partnered with uh, my good friend here. Yeah, uh, Sm Smoke, or uh, my actual name, Martin. So whichever one you want to refer me to, I go by both. And now we're able to see the teams, the team comps that the two teams are choosing. Looks like University of South Alabama is going with a kind of pokish brawl. brawl. Yeah, pokish brawl. The Ash seems a little bit of niche here. I would actually kind of like to see a Reaper possibly. It's going to help uh, burn through some of that May coming out from the side of Eastern Kentucky as well as that Arissa. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what uh, Whisper can do on this Ash. Yeah, Reaper would be a very good situational pick here, as he'll be able to hold space with Tank. However, it doesn't I... seem like they're going to go straight to Bridge, and they're actually going to be counter-crossing across the point, fighting each other from Oak Ring. Both teams, actually. It's interesting to also see the Ana here on the side of EKU, so we'll see how that kind of plays in without that Kuriko Suzu on the side of East Kentucky. Got a little bit of a brawl coming in on point. Um, both teams just getting some chip damage. Nice job on coming in on the side of uh, Eastern Kentucky. May's uh, ice block is kind of forced out a little early, so she does not have that um, get out jail free card for a couple more seconds. University of South Alabama able to knock Arissa, the EKU Arissa, down to almost getting her out of the entire fight, get, would have given them the advantage. Looks like Lucio might fall. Actually, no! University of South Ash Alabama loses Ash, giving yeah. EKU the advantage. Nano comes out on the Orisa, pushing straight in, giving his team the aggression. That was a really quick beat coming out from uh, Sinister. Uh, gets South Alabama that extra shield to work with, try to take this point. Still, no team has flipped. It's an all-out skirmish on this point. Nice pick coming out from the side Just of EKU, but Small Gang is trade. there, yeah. EKU's Orisa pops his ult, gets no one, sadly. All these teams have to do is secure one or two extra picks after this initial pick, and they can take this point, taking it for their team. And it looks like University of South Alabama may capture it. No. 
uh, the Arisa from EKU actually is able University to step on and deny Alabama it. is able to hit it, however. High Noon comes out taking out Small Gang here. It's only the supports and the Arisa left on this point. Uh, a lot of sustain, but probably not enough damage coming out inside of South Alabama. Arisa on EKU Whis is very, very low. Whisper coming in on the flank with the McCree. Nice pick coming in from the side of South Alabama Sinister onto EKU Ariska. Yeah, nice Small tire coming getting from a Small double pick with the yeah. fire. Really good ult coming in from uh, Small Gang in the middle of that fight, able to send the tire through side of South Alabama's window and get a nice little double kill to clean up that fight for him. University of South Alabama was able to actually take that entire fight, getting 35% on the board as well, leaving EKU to zero. That's actually really surprising seeing how, if I'm not wrong, University of South Alabama, we, we lost the first pick, we lost the first pick, correct? <laughs> Uh, Ooh, yeah, that it, is not that's a, a nice situation. early pick coming in from uh, the McCree. However, it's a tra it's traded down with the high noon sacrifice, getting the one small gang, getting another, getting traded off by the mine. Yeah, both teams are even right now, but South Alabama still has their tank up. Whisper needs to be careful. He is alone. Sinister is back to help his team out, and EKU backs up. A wise decision, in my opinion, coming from them. Whisper getting some poke damage in on the bridge, almost killing the Lucio. EK, you need to be careful here because South does have that um, Lucio, and yeah, they're going to rotate white and make South Alabama have to rotate over. Looks like the soldier for EKU is going on the flank. Could he potentially get a pick that could change this entire thing? An the risk of a nice E coming Big in from Jimmy the Jimmy eating Jimmy. the yeah. for May. Sinister drops his beat while to mitigate the Arisa ult. This is actually really good plays from University of South Alabama here. Being able to aggression. push EKU out of the attack, the point, being able to completely s nullify any attack they've had with 99% on the board, only two players for EKU alive, close to the point. They're going to try and stall, but unfortunately they can't. At University of South Alabama takes this first round on Li Zhang Tower. Nice aggression coming in from South Alabama towards the end of that point. They took it to EKU. They saw EKU rotate to white, and they instantly rotated there. Uh, EKU, I feel the May walls were not working in their favor. Um, I didn't see a lot of separation that they probably wanted from that. And a big thing that happened that round was Big Jimmy even, even being able to eat May's ult, completely nullifying that entire t attack from EKU. Yeah, like that that eat com that eat coming in from Big Jimmy on the side of South Alabama onto that May ult. I think kind of just opened up in that fight because that was their win condition there. They were looking to freeze the team and isolate those targets who were freezing, but it just didn't work out in their favor. Looks like we're sticking with the same comp instead of Whisper being a Cassidy. We switched over to May. EKU May did early. choose, choose this, change their comp to a Tracer Reaper DPS comp with an Ana support Lucio, Ana and Lucio support. This Reaper is actually going to be a problem if you ask me. I think USA needs to be able to keep their eye on him because he, if he's able to work with this Aris to hold this space, getting picks off, I think that EKU could have an opening here. And Tracer is a threat for them support. So as we can see, Flex Lamb almost coming down, dying to the Tracer on the back line. South Alabama needs to be careful playing here on this edge. Nice little kill coming in from Small Gang onto the Lucio. There goes that boot factor coming in for EKU. Big Jimmy drops really low. Nice Susie coming in from side of Flex Slam. Small Gang and, and his minds are getting so many picks opening up for South Alabama. Whisper gets another kill on the Arisa. Big double Tracer kill coming in. Getting a double pulse yeah, bomb, nice double kill. But it's not enough to stop the South Alabama push. Uh, uh, I don't, uh yeah. Tr Tracer, uh, I'm not sure how to say his name. I'm just going to say Azza. Azza, nice little 3K coming in from him. Tries to do everything he can to turn that fight for EKU. Does not get it. EKU South does have numbers here. Yeah, they, they have almost their entire team. Tracer's right there behind them. South Alabama was able to flip the point and actually take the lead on percentage here. However, the question... Oh! Big Jimmy getting booped off of the edge right there is not good for South Alabama. EKU is able to flip the point once again, and they're just getting picks after picks. I think South Alabama needs to regroup here. Yeah, and that's exactly what they're doing. You see the last three remaining backing up to spawn. Notice they do have five ults online to the uh, comparison of EKU's upcoming four. I'd like to see a little bit of an early aggressive tire coming in to try to draw out that beat, and then a, maybe a male to follow. 
curious how this ult economy is going to go. Early tire, like you said, Orisa ult as well. B Small game getting through with the tire. Yeah. tire. Oh, Ajax they, be this... coming in from the side of EKU. That beat is completely gone. And they get a team wipe. Yeah, pretty expensive fight though coming in from Very... South Alabama. Yeah, they had to use their Orisa ult. Be coming back with four ults, one Nano, one Orisa. We could potentially see a Beyblade in this situation. There's no telling it... how they're going to be able to use their I think that's exactly economy. what we're going to do. I, I think the Reaper's going to teleport behind them, drop on top of them, and just use Blossom behind them. Nice. Oh, Freeze coming in from Whisper. This. The supports are both frozen, but the University of South Alabama does not notice. Whisper's able to kill the Lucio. Big Jimmy stopping the Reaper from doing anything with his ultimate. However, Small Gang falls to a pulse bomb by Tracer in the flank. She is yeah. causing a problem back there. Yeah, and EK needs to back up. That's exactly what they're doing. I would like to see South Alabama kind of hold a little more aggressive here. They have the Junkrat. They have the Mei. Whenever EKU pushes out, they can wall them off and look for a couple of separation picks. We do. Uh, South Alabama does have beat to prevent a nano push at any point here. Early from recall coming out from Tracer. South Alabama is able to pull off that Orisa kill, getting another ultimate off the field, and they kill their Ana, completely taking every single ult off the field. EKU has to back up again. Yeah, and as EKU, go ahead. Yeah, as EKU backs up there, I will say they went in a little split push. Their uh, their supports are rotating around coast, and their DPS and tank just kind of dove on point without them. A little mis little miscommunication coming in from them. Kind of impressive on the part of University of South Ooh. Here comes the beat for University of South Alabama to counter that nano. However, Big Jimmy does fall and Small Gang soon follows. Not an expensive Unfortunately. Yeah, not an expensive fight when coming in from EKU. They use the result and the nano. They're not close to fall. another pulse as well. Soon to come is that beat. Besides However, South Alabama, all they had to use is that beat, yeah. If you look at South Alabama, their ult economy is actually really well. You have three ults coming up for this next fight, and you have Kiriko's Suzu Rush. Or Kiri the Rush coming in on the flank here. <laughs> Getting a pick on the Lucio immediately to initiate this play. However, Whisper does fall on May, which is not ideal for you, Richard, South Alabama. The healing for you. falls really low. Tracer trying to find that pick. Doesn't get it. You have it's their flex limb open. Nice ult coming in from Big Jimmy, able to uh, pick off that Reaper that was causing so much pressure on the South Alabama front line. Nice little team wipe coming in from South Alabama, making EKU reset USA. spawn. USA, USA completely takes control of the point and wins the round. I think the most impressive thing right there was universe. South Alabama was kind of down in that fight. They yeah, kind of they were... lost too right at the start, and it kind of wasn't a good situation for them. For them to come back like that and take that fight and secure the win, pretty impressive. Yeah, and the ult usage from South Alabama not overcoming too many ults, uh, saving some for the next fight. Just having a nice ult economy came into play for them there. Uh, Saudi EKU, um, I will say that first map, the May probably didn't work out as much as they would have liked it. Um, just not being able to separate some of South Alabama there. But really hard fought um, map coming in from EKU on that second one, just was not able to pull it out. And that is Lijing Tower, our first map. Yep.
We're back, and we find our way to King's Row after University of South Alabama bans Blizzard World. This pick has gone to EKU, and they chose to put us on King's Row. Not not a shocking pick, if you ask me. Yeah, I'm, I'm expecting to see some brawl come out from both sides, and we get just that from EKU. South Alabama bringing out a little bit of a different style of brawl. It's going to be more of that pokey style that we kind of saw on um, Gardens on Lijong. Except, instead of the Orisa, it's going to be the Ramatra, so I'm going to be looking forward to see how this is going to turn out for South Alabama. And you know, as the Overwatch developers like to say, this is more of a tempo comp. <laughs> uh, but no, it's just a mixture of poke and brawl, as we know with Ramatra. I think, personally, Ramatra is one of my favorite tanks. If I have to do say so myself, I think he's the coolest design. Oh, probably yeah. Fun play. Most definitely me being a tank main, of course, but... Yeah, Ramatra is a lot of fun to play, um, especially in casual, just chilling out with them. Going into like Reinhardt's going to be an interesting one. Yeah, I would like yeah. to see EKU kind of hold inside a statue, not give South so much space to work with. Um, it's going to be kind of interesting to see how South Alabama uses the space that they've been freely given. Yeah, right now they have the entire right side of that statue open, as well as that high ground on the top right that Junkrat can easily go to. I'd also like to see AKU First soldiers. It. Yeah, I'd also like to see AKU soldier take high ground. That's exactly what he is going to do. It's almost like he heard me. South Alabama is going to have a tough time trying to dispose of that soldier on high ground. They have nothing to really dive them, so it's going to be a lucky headshot coming in from a uh, whisper. That's more exactly than likely. what I was thinking. Hopefully, they could get an, uh, a quick, lucky headshot from the iconic Hanzo himself. You know. Yeah, and that and common occurrence that people want to. Yeah, and there's out. already a minute gone. Uh, South Alabama needs to find some kind of just opening. Picking that's exactly off the what they're gonna do. That's exactly yeah, what they needed right there. Nice However, no one's keeping an eye on that high ground. Soldiers getting right up there. We could see pulling out two, two, oh? no one. Sinister popping beat and Kiriko coming in to counter that with the yeah, the rush the support ult for support ult. Nice ult coming in from Big Jimmy. Uh, EK is meant to be careful. However, Flexland falls to the soldier on the flank. Big Jimmy gets frozen. Sinister's frozen. EK, you yeah, can just South take this back, needs to go back up. Yeah, South Alabama needs to back up. Exactly what they do here. Nice little stall coming in, or a stagger coming in onto Small Gang. He's going to have a little bit later respawn compared to South Alabama. EKU's ult economy is a little bit better with the certain ults that are going to be going against South Alabama. South Alabama has Nano, Dragon, and Tire coming up, while Hammer, Beat, and Visor are all up. Yeah, right I'm looking for Arcos to lay down the Hammer here, and I think that's exactly what he's about to do once South Alabama swings this corner. This Dragon is going to be able to displace them. This is really good. Yep. Nice zoning ult coming in from them. Nice little pinch maneuver Wait, coming in from South good. Alabama. However, South Alabama is not really able to capitalize off that. The visor comes out. Not the much done with the visor. gets immediately destroyed. However, that Junkrat does have the high ground. Big Jimmy able to putting the putting the shield up to block the hammer. Whisper and punishes Ark for it. Getting the Lucio. This could be the opening they need to take this entire point. It is a 3v2. Whisper with the 3k. Oh, Whisper with the 3k on that Hanza. Big Jimmy able to find the kill onto the Kiriko and... All that's left on the point was that May Whisper finds Whip his thing. fourth kill. Takes the point. Yeah. Nice little and 4k coming in from Whisper. Do we see, see a tank change to Orissa, which is interesting, because if I'm not wrong, Orissa is heavily countered by Ramatra. 
Uh, yeah, that that she is. It's gonna be very interesting to see how EKU is gonna actually use this Arisa, um going into Big Jimmy and the rest of South Alabama. It's gonna be interesting as well. South Alabama has two ults up. About to get beat as well as Dragon coming in. EKU only having a rush and May ult, which aren't bad ults. They can completely, completely. A nice, a nice javelin Junkrat um, shot combo coming in from EKU, able to kill Whisper, take him out of the fight. I really want to see this battle at this choke right here. If not here at the corner, but right here is always an interesting fight. To, to I, I, I would like out. to see a big freeze coming in from EKU once South Alabama gets a little overextended coming in. Uh, from their side of the choke. All EKU needs to rely on is one, and here comes a freeze. Dragon nice freeze coming push, in. Getting the kill. However, all of USA's team players are frozen except for the Ana. They're able to get three picks. EKU takes this fight. Yeah, uh, very inexpensive fight coming in from uh, EKU. They are able to just only use the May ult and kill three of South Alabama, forcing them to back up. However, South, South Alabama does have four ults coming up. South did use the dragon, but it doesn't matter. They swapped off Hanzo to get two Junkrat. Whisper takes out the enemy Junkrat over Sinister Falls for the Orisa. So, down a healer already. Not a good sign. Point. Nice, nice double, double cut coming in from Arcos. Big, Big Jimmy, Jimmy pushing, pushing forward. With Big 3k a. from Big Jimmy. Massive! Now, can they actually hold on to this and take this point and push? And that, it, they definitely two of will. Point right now. They definitely will. Yeah, the Arisa's the last one left standing on that point. No supports, able to keep her up. Um, nice. Big Jimmy with that 4K completely turning the tides, letting South Alabama actually get some room here. This could be big and exactly what South needs. Uh, However, we, no one... we see it. Yeah, we say that, yeah. but we see the Junkrat setting up here, no waiting for the perfect time. Big time coming in. Does he get anything? He doesn't. Big Jimmy no. gets the block in there. Everyone's able to scatter. However, Whisper falls to a Javelin Junkrat combo. They really like that combo. Yeah, EKU Junkrat able to find their counter counterpart on the side of South Alabama. And that warrants enough for South Alabama to back up. Uh, it only took yeah. one pick, and that's the space that EKU needed to push Alabama back for. Going into this fight, South Alabama has two ults, and they lose Whisper immediately. That is not good. That'll probably leave them down to, what, two more fights if they continue to have to fall back here? Yeah, I think what South Alabama is going to be looking for here is going to be a speed noon and Big Jimmy kind of just standing in front of the Junkrat to be a meat sponge for him. Be interesting What's going to be see, uh, here is EKU's building them all. Whisper getting a pick on the Lucio, enabling the South Alabama team to attack. Getting another pick on Gary. Yeah, EKU though. back lines down. Whisper absolutely dominating. However, yeah. no one's taking care of the Junk right on the flank. It and does not matter. Junkrat. See, Big Jimmy takes out the May and the Junkrat goes down to Sinister, giving South Alabama the push they need to potentially even capture this point. I do not think EKU can stall here. I think South has this. Yep, yeah, South Alabama is definitely going to be able to cap this point. A nice um, double kill coming in from the side of South Alabama, taking out EKU's back line there to open up that fight. And the rest of the team is just crumbles to their support. The interesting thing about this this fight is South Alabama has five holes coming into it. Yeah. Granted, EKU is able to build it fast. I mean, they're down higher in the rush. However, I want to see the combination of these ults. And the uh, High Noon comes out but gets Javelin. And the Tire is able to pick off the enemy Junkrat. They're down for D4. Nano comes out. Ramatra ult out. Big Jimmy going in. He could get You could see high value out of this ult here. You allow South Alabama to continue to push even further. Getting another kick on the Kiriko. May is in the block. All they have to do is kick her out and they have more room. All it is is Lucio for EKU. EKU is able to regroup. Go ahead. Something concerning coming in from uh, that uh, fight is South Alabama used all their ults there. They have nothing to work with for the last 30 seconds of this match. EKU does have this May ult and the Kasune. Kasune comes in, but Whisper is able to pick off two, both EKU supports. Three picks on, South, on EKU's. Oh, here comes a tire. Careful Tire's able to tire. pick off Sinister. Stall coming in from it the main. It is maid. a 4v2. Kiriko's out on the field. Both supports are back. Junkrat falls. Big Jimmy's able to kill the Kiriko. Arissa's back. Oh, Clutchland misses the anti. It doesn't matter. 
Tired yeah. for reassurance. Big Jimmy pushes the point all the way in, giving this round to South Alabama with 2.3 seconds left. That's yeah, cool. and, and yeah, and that's key. Finishing with time. If we go to um, overtime, South Alabama is going to be able to get that 33%, not really give EKU much of a chance to fight for. So, um, it's going to be uh, very interesting to see how that 2.3 seconds kind of come into play for South Alabama whenever, uh, if EKU is able to full cap. I'm curious on what EKU does here. I mean, they chose Arissa against Ramatra to defend. I do not think that was the play. Ramatra is just very well counter, easily counters Arissa in that scene. I just... What I think like a really bad pick in my opinion. Yeah, well, I think Arcos needs to match the Ramatra. Um, you know, the Ramatra Ramatra matchup mm -hmm. can be really fun to play, but it can also be really good. You see, you or as you saw, Big Jimmy able to use that ultimate effectively, push forward, and just take so much space with it, being able to heal himself without his supports being there to heal him. Um, but as we're talking about Big Jimmy's Ramatra, we see Big Jimmy go over to the Arissa. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how this Arista does work out for South Alabama here. We have a heavy poke comp here from the University of South Alabama. <clears throat> However, on the opposite end, for EKU, they have a more brawlish comp with that Reaper to be able to hold space with their Arista if they're able to do things here. They also <clears throat> are choosing to use a Widowmaker early off spawn to see if they can get an easy pick. It's going to be interesting how she plays on, if she's going to immediately switch off and switch to something else. I could see a May coming out as that is one of their. They're gonna. Picks they're gonna stick their. Out. Yeah, they're gonna stick the Widowmaker. See if they can find a nice little pick. They're looking for the Torb, on Small Gang. Don't get the headshot from it. Not much happened for EKU to be able to take all that space, and you see there uh, the Widowmaker coming in from EKU, able to grab all the high ground, pick off Flex Land. That's a big chunk of their healing coming out. Um, from Being left there. just a Moira's heal is not ideal. Yeah, because once uh, Moira is out of all of her heals, she has to DPS a little bit and get it right back. Oh, Reaper falls, and you see Whisper on the flank here, going after the Widowmaker, taking out the Widowmaker. However, Big Gort dive coming in from Whisper. Lucio. Whisper dies down to Javelin, and it seems like USA may have been able to hold this. Yeah, and they do. The rest of the uh, members of EKU are in spawn. Reaper is only there. Reaper falls below half. He has to wraith out. South Alabama needs to regroup fast because EKU is on the approach. EKU had a lot of time there with the time traveled from defense. Oh, nice double D coming in from nice small game. Server. Small game getting another pick on the Lucio. Whisper in the back line, killing the Kiriko. Javelin comes out, taking out the other Arissa and Big Jimmy finishing it off. Killing the Reaper, solidifying another fight for University of South Alabama. This is really, really good. This is an awesome team that we're seeing here tonight. University of South Alabama has kind of changed it up from what we previously saw last week. This is very, very fun to see. Yeah, and as a um, see, saw that the Widow wasn't working out for EKU, so they swap over the McCree, give them a little bit more uh, sustainability. Something I didn't notice until now. South is potentially gonna have five ults in this coming up, up push, which they're already popping two of them. Three of them are coming out. Oh, this is an expensive fight for South Alabama. They're able to get yep. picks left and right to secure this fight. See okay, if they're able to kill the cast. I don't think they're gonna be able to. No, they're not. Oh, they are. A oh, nice shit with coming a of Whisper. The yeah. Nice. That is very, very well slowing down the EKU push. Yeah, EKU, EKU has to wait used, on that. Only used Kitsune last time. Now they're going to have the Reaper ult and the Orisa ult and potentially uh, beat. Afara coming in from EKU is a little questionable. They're going to have the Torb turret kind of poking them, but they're also going to have the pressure Baptiste. coming in to Flex Slam. And Baptiste is a really good pick as a support to be able to counter that far. Orisa just pushes into the back line and just ult. However, the Lamp comes up saving the entire team. Moira yeah. ult. South Alabama finds the pick onto the Arisa. The EKU far also unfortunately uh, jump kills itself. Just popping off, getting all these picks on the escape route from EKU. Completely staggering characters. Able to go on flank and getting the supports out of the game. Whisper is popping off on Junkrat and is just being uncontested. And an uncontested Junkrat is not a fun scene. 
Yeah, EKU does have a good bit to work with here. They're gonna have the barrage coming up here soon. They have the two ults online already and the blossom, the beat. So I would like to see a little bit of a beat engage. That's what they're gonna do. They're gonna rush straight into South Alabama. Nice here comes blade the for Reaper ult. Yep. Picks off Whisper. Four, four v five coming in for EKU. Three v five. South Alabama down heavily in the spike. Two v five. And with that, EKU is gonna be able to flip this point and go into street space on King's Row. And you know, that's actually kind of not too bad for South Alabama. South Alabama, it's honestly bad for EKU. EKU was not able to hold South Alabama just as strong as we were. Or USA yep. was able to hold them. So, I mean, this is going to be interesting. However, it looks like EKU is just pushing up to take his Overextension coming in from Whisper. Yeah, overextension coming in from Whisper. You probably would like to see him kind of wait for his team to push up a little bit. That's going to give EKU a lot of space to work with. Now, holding all the way up to last corner on street space. And you they're going to get a lot of progress. They need to be able to push EKU back to that second choke. Or and they need to be careful. This far does have Barrage. If she plays uh, Roof Cover, she can hey, Jimmy taking nice out the barrage. Reaper. Yep. However, I don't think they noticed this far. I think she may be able to get on the flank. Maybe be able to get a fit, play, pick. However, Whisper's coming up right behind her. Maybe with the tire coming out. Could see something big potentially happening here. They're able to re-secure this entire space, getting up to the second choke on the corner. Tire still out, no picks, anything. Whisper able to get a pick on the Lucio. Zan dropping, losing the support in 5v5 is not fun. It just completely, just essentially stops the entire push. Whisper yeah, I... with another pick on the Reaper. This man is eating right now, and EKU is not stopping him. Yeah, I, I think um, Aza needs to kind of find a opportunity very quickly for this barrage uh holding on to it is doing nothing for eku and it looks like the bar is going on the flank however sinister is able to catch that rush comes yeah. out eku pushes up pushing past the corner barrage yeah. comes out orissa's ult comes out this is a very expensive fight for eku but it looks like it may go turn out good for them if they're able to continue to pick off and continue to take space sinister pops moira ult a big javelin coming in from the EKU Orisa, being able to stun Sinister out of that coalescence. That goes a lot of healing for South Alabama. Neither of their supports are in this fight. They're going to be able to push South Alabama back to third. This is where this is where the big fight's about to happen at the final choke point, and this is going to kind of be the determinant of the rest of this game. If EKU, small game, getting a pick on Reaper right at the start before the team fight even begins. This is not a good sign for EKU. And yeah, and Whisper wants Going this kill. This Whisper has. Five. Yeah, Whisper has four percent left of this tire. It's gonna be interesting to see if he can get anything with this. Um, I tell them not afford to lose a player in this situation. If they do, this is. Yeah, this Whisper needs to be, be careful. There Whisper goes Whisper. Gets picked off by, by the far mid air. Big Jimmy popping his ult, potentially getting picks. If he would have charged it a little bit more, he probably would have gotten that Arisa. But it's fine. Small game picking off the Lucio. Far goes down by Small Gang. This could be the opening they need to take this entire point. Whisper has tired. He sent it from spawn. How is he gonna sit here and affect this? He gets a triple kill! Whisper nice takes the game kill. and wins it for South Alabama! Oh my god! They they just could not handle him! Whisper was tearing it up the entire game uncontested on Junkrat! That is insane! Yeah, Whisper, big factor in this whole entire um, map of King's Row. He found a lot of uh, retreating kind of picks on EKU whenever they were trying to back up into spawn. Finds big tire um, multi-kills as well. Big factor for South Alabama. And that'll... Is that the... Is that...
And we're back for map three. Looks like we find ourselves on in Australia on Junkertown after leaving King's Row with the USA victory. We do have a tank swap from Big Jimmy to Neptunica, so it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out for USA. Uh, yeah, um, snipers are not a big part of uh, South Alabama's uh, hero pool, so we're, I'm going to like to see how South Alabama actually fares with this pick coming in from EKU. And so when, it look, when you look at team comms, it's interesting to see that D.Va pulled out. D.Va's not really kind of not really good in today's meta. If I do say so myself from the way I've seen things and played, but we also have uh, Hanzo and Cass coming out as a DPS. And it looks like for EKU, they're running a heavy, I mean, heavy poke comp. Sigma, Ash, Cass with a damage boost to Mercy and a Kiriko. Gonna be interesting. This is, could be a really good stronghold for EKU here. This is a very good point to be able to hold on defense, especially if they hold that bridge right there. So it's, yeah, it's gonna be interesting how USA fared this. It's interesting that we also don't see USA pull out a Widow for a quick little pot shot. Um, probably kind of would've liked to see them do that just for an early pick, but you know, can't complain too much. Nope, you can't. However, EKU is giving South Alabama a good amount of space instead of fighting at that first bridge. Instead, they're letting that fight happen at the second bridge. Getting some poke damage off, allowing Neptunica to take a good right. chunk of damage. Whisper able to get a pick on the Ash. Oh, Neptunica was un unable to stop that res, and Ash is back up. This could cause a problem. Sinister did get hit by the dynamite, and he's low. He might fall here. Sinister falls. Small gang also dropping in health rapidly. This is already not looking good for South Alabama. Losing Sinister this early is not ideal. It's going to be interesting how how they take this and bears in this poke battle. Whisper getting a pick on the Widowmaker. Taking down that damage boost is going to be very, very good against this Ash. All he had to do was be able to take out one of the DPS. They can easily push this. Whisper is able to get clutched up by the support. And if they take this brawl into the Sigma and able to get picks, Small Gang falls to the Ash after trying to push and take him out. Ash gets another pick on Whisper. Sinister is able to trade it out. However, Neptunica falls out of Diva Mech to the Sigma, leaving just a support. And it looks like South Alabama is going to have to regroup here. Yeah, a little bit of an overextension coming in from Neptunica. She um, gets out of the line of sight from her supports to where they can't heal her. She dives in the back line, gets absolutely punished for it. A little bit of a misplay, in my opinion, coming in from Neptunica on the side of South Alabama. Kind of interesting that EKU did not take more space and go back up to the bridge and reposition in that situation and keep the payload pushing back a little bit further. Dragon comes out! Sigma does not, is not close enough to be able to eat it. Sigma ult comes out, gets no one! Si how is this fight going to play out? Anti comes out on Sigma, getting the... Oh, Neptunic is overextending again, once again, yeah, and they don't... Be careful. Whisper taking out the McCree, the Cassidy, my bad, in, high, in his high noon! Bob comes out, this could be dangerous. Anti's on Bob, Whisper falls to Bob. Oh, and their Ashes Bob is able to get three picks, taking down four the picks. four members. Sinister able to clear this. Neptunica is not in mech, and they pick Neptunica. That was yeah, a, a nice little stagger. Uh, I would have staggered a little bit more. Yeah, but um, there I think the play is to burn Bob. Bob is just a nice little sixth man on point, stalling for them. If you don't burn that Bob, he will eventually find value, and he did exactly that in that team fight, killing four members of South Alabama. Whisper almost falling immediately before the C fight even happens. However, he is distracting this tank. This is an opening that South Alabama could have used to be able to push this. Neptunica gets Nano, diving the high ground, going up to the Mercy and Ash. However, Whisper by himself on payload, completely his team completely avoiding and not looking at him. How? How? He is alive by some miracle. Now South Alabama is able to push him with Katsune. Could we potentially see some kills here? We weren't able to see it before. Sigma falls. However, Small King does fall prior to that. Whisper getting a pick on the soldier. Now it's a 4v3. Ash getting a pick on Flex Lambs Kiriko. This is not a good sign for South Alabama. This Ash is just eating. Neptunica completely disbands the idea of going after Ash and uses ult instead. Does not get anybody with the Diva Bomb. This is really, really interesting to see how this tank play, this tank swap is gonna be affecting South Alabama here. Diva is a yeah. very, very strange pick, in my opinion, for this current meta and state of Overwatch. I think the Junkrat pick's a little bit um, odd here for this point, as well as the Reaper. You don't really have a lot of um, 
front line to kind of go on. It's a lot of poke coming in from the side of EKU. So a little bit of a questionable kick coming in from South Sigma Alabama. Sigma ult getting that. three! South Alabama was able to get two prior to that. However, Whisper falls to the Sigma ult. Are they going to be able to kill the Sigma to be able to cap this point? Soldier jumps from the high ground, the five players team. Antied on Kiriko. Kiriko cleanses, is able to get away. Kiriko, however, falls. Neptunica, everyone focusing on the soldier. Soldier's down, Tyre coming in. Sigma is the only one on point. Ash and Mercy coming back. Sigma falls. Bob on they the need point. To burn Bob. Need to burn Bob. Have to burn Bob to be able to take this point. Bob asleep. If no one touches him, they could take this. Mercy falls. All it is is Ash. Now they have to get rid of Bob, and they can have this point easily. And that's exactly what happened. Bob's duration is gone. USA is able to cap this first point moving into the next with two minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. That is not yeah. a bad time. Yeah, and South Alabama is lucky that Sinister had that sleep dart up um, from that team fight, was able to sleep the Bob even though he was contesting. Um, by South Alabama enough time to kill the rest of the EKU team members and push the cart in second. What's an interesting sight to see here is the ult economy once again. South Alabama's kind of been amazing tonight when it comes to the ult economy. Being able to save up as many ults as possible and use as little ults when it comes to initiating fights. They have four ults currently to be able to fight this next one. Nice like pick coming in from the side of uh, South Alabama's Whisper. Whisper getting a pick on the Mercy. Flexlam getting a pick on the Ash. However, Whisper does fall to the Sigma. Flexlam getting another one. What a deadly support player. Small gang picking off the Kiriko, and it just seems like South Alabama may be able to just take the second point, no contesting. That's the yeah. thing about Junk Junker Town. Junker Town's second point is very, very short, and if one team fight fails, you could easily cap it with no contesting. This is going to add a lot of time to South Alabama's clock. And the problem with that hold from EKU is, is that they hold they held so so far back whenever they were trying to hold second. One team fight is all it took for South Alabama to able or to be able to push it all the way to third. So a little bit of uh, positioning, um, team positioning coming in for EKU probably could have been included in there. And what's another thing to point out again? They did not even use any ults. Here we come with the Nano getting pushed out with the Neptunica diving into the back line. Going in on the Mercy, getting the Mercy pick. Whisper almost dying. Whisper almost. Whisper finally dead. Reaper ult comes. Reaper comes out. Sinister getting a pick on the Ash. However, this soldier is staying uncontested at the high ground. Yeah, he needs to be careful. Nice kill coming in. The small game that's going to put him back in spawn and give them a man or give EKU a man advantage. Neptune is going to fly back to cart and back up. Try to get a little more cart progression. Tire comes out on for Whisper. Is he going for this soldier primarily? And he did. Yeah, he's and he is. the soldier. With that soldier gone, that's going to be a lot of high ground um, contestment from EKU being gone. So South Alabama is going to be able to take this high ground for free and rain down some damage. Katune comes out for EKU. Sigma ult comes out for EKU as well. Neptunica bombing. Is she going to be able to get a pick? How, no. Sigma ult was, if Sigma was able to avoid that. I'm not entirely sure how he did that. He had his shield down and he was able to get behind it. Ah, I was not able to see that from my point of view. Yeah, so I'm going to take out Sinister. All being able to take out Kiriko and to confirm the and kill the on the Shifter. Starting to take high ground. Mercy Rest comes out, getting the Kiriko back up. Cassidy's able nice to take pick. out the Reaper on Small Game, completely countering that high ground, taking him down, being able to. Honestly, this may be a sign for South Alabama to fall back a little bit and wait for your small game to recruit. They have no coverage to be able to hold space with Neptunica as Diva when small game's down. So it's going to be interesting. With 50 seconds on the clock, they have about, what, two fights in this? And they're really close to being able to capture it. I think one team fight, and they kind of take it. So seeing how South Alabama proceeds with this, with no ult economies, and Whisper goes down to Cassidy immediately before the team fight even able to initiate. That However, the end of the Cassidy and the, the Mercy. Five high ground, taking out Ca uh, Cass and Mercy, small gang and Neptunica being able to secure those kills. And this team fight could just be very, very, very quick with all the ult economies that they have. Whisper popping the, back line the ult. Small gang. Whisper popping out the ult right out of the spawn. Sigma popping his ult, potentially getting another one. Whisper with a another big tire taking out the Sigma mid ult to not give him any value. However, High Noon from Cass is able to take out Neptunica's Neptunica's mech South and Alabama needs game. time here. However, South Alabama game, needs to finish with time. Whisper is able to come in and clutch another round. This man on Junkrat is insane. The yeah. EK, EKU is not able to stop this man at all. Yeah, and, and I think what really uh, opened the door for South Alabama to be able to push the cart into uh, third and finish the map with 7.8 seconds left 
was that dive onto the high ground onto the Mercy and Kree? Um, a nice little teleport coming up from, uh, I believe it was Small Gang that was on the Reaper, as well as in that Tunica flying up with Flex Slam teleporting up to the high ground. Was they able to quickly eliminate those two players from the side of EKU, uh, yeah. White, and it was all downhill from there for EKU, unfortunately. The big thing about that pick right there, that, that dive was very good for South Alabama due to the fact that EKU's only ults were those two players. Them being yep. dived like that was just completely taking out ults out of the picture and not even worrying. Small game yep. had higher back and he was just say he's been able to eat with that this entire series. So EKU is just it's just interesting to see that they cannot take care of this junk rat. Yeah, and here's something interesting. We see Arcos go over to the hog. It's gonna be uh, interesting to see how this is gonna go into effect for them, especially with the um hog nerf that came in at the start of season three. Yeah, that nerf is, um, you know, I, I love it as a uh, squishy DPS player. I think they, that nerf was perfect. However, it's going to be interesting to see how they play this, especially Neptunica playing Sigma this time around. I don't know if we've ever seen her really play things like this, because I know personally she's a big D.Va player, which is most likely why they ran D.Va that time. But we're running a heavy, heavy poke comp on the defense side with what seems to be a mixture of a brawl comp and a poke comp on the attacking side. So we'll see how this plays out. Whisper getting an immediate pick on the Ash, popping, pop, getting res down. Man, this is, they're, they're not able to just contest these DPS sometimes. Ash giving a pick on the Hanzo. Seeing how this plays out. Hook goes out, gets Sigma. Ash able to kill Whisper. That's double DPS down and EKU should be able to just push this up a little bit. Not really having the focus, not having to push in, not having to do anything that's going to completely risk their take. And Neptunica falls to Ash. This Ash is now being the uncontested one that University of South Alabama needs to pay attention to. Yeah, they South needs to be very careful. Scary. Yeah, nice little hook coming in oh. from Arcos onto Sinister, able to pick him off out of the fight. And with that, I think EKU is going to be able to bring this card into second. I think they take that uncontested with three, yeah. th almost three minutes on the board. Now they have five minutes. This is not a good South. sign for Alabama. South, South needs to be really uh, careful about this EKU Ash uh, as uh, he's gotten a lot of headshot picks coming in for them, uh, opening up a lot of potential for EKU to take a lot of space. So South Alabama needs to do something for this Ash and get them out of the fight quickly. I think South Alabama should have positioned themselves a little bit further on the high ground near that window to be able to counter that Ash because Small Gang is just going to get picked off by the Ash combo with the hook from the riot, the, the Roadhog and Ash is just going to get more picks off Flex Land. This Ash is uncontested right now. We are seeing a very unfortunate turn of events for South Alabama's defense. Bob comes out, takes out Neptunica, takes out Sinister, May is able to secure that kill on the Tunica and Whisper falls as well. This is another situation where it was an uncontested second point. This defense is not looking good for USA. Yeah, and it's not. And just like their um, attack whenever it came to first and Bob, Bob's able to find two picks there, open up potential for EKU to push this car into third. And that's exactly what they do. South Alabama needs to really be careful for these Bobs coming in from EKU. They're finding a lot of value and South Alabama needs to do something about it. Unfortunately here, we see that EKU has four ults, and this time for South, their, their ult economy is not the greatest. They have three, maybe four coming up with the Pulse Bomb coming out soon. Neptunica pops ult by herself right in their spawn. That's an interesting choice to, yeah, to yeah, very do interesting. that ult right there. They could have used that ult at some other point to be able to maybe hit, convert kills, potentially stop the push. And Small King falls in the back line to May. This is not good. Maywall comes out blocking Neptunica. Flex the Sinister tries to throw the lamp out to save her, save her but it's just unfortunate and not able to do so. And EKU unfortunately, has free reign the push. Yeah, unfortunately for Sinister, he places his uh, window straight into a May wall, gets no value from that, as well as South Alabama backing up to not do any damage through it. And now with him using window, he goes over to Lucio, provides South a little more aggressiveness coming into the front line of EKU. Zune comes out. EKU pops Roadhog's whole hog. Ash goes down. Uh, Kiriko goes down. However, Mercy reses the Ash. May is able to get two picks. EKU's May is able to get two picks on USA. Neptunica takes out Ash. Now it's a 3v3. 
four, I believe. Three, two, maybe. Oh, tire comes out by Whisper. We know this man is iconic with these tires. Maybe he can get a pick here to completely secure this fight. He gets one pick. I don't know if that's enough to help South Alabama take this fight completely. They had to back up before this fight even cut the started. They were not in a good situation. I actually think um, South Alabama is going to be able to kind of uh, take this fight a little quickly. They have to wait for the Kuriko to come back. Kuriko is able to teleport back and they do the, just that. Nice uh, kill coming in from Whisper onto the side of EKU's um, May. South Alabama being able to push EK EKU back to this bottom mega. EKU backing up a little bit more. Ash nice. blowing off another elimination against South Alabama's small gang. This is... Just uh, an insane thing to happen here with Ash being uncontested with this. Yeah, this Ash is a big threat for South Alabama. They need to do something about this Ash to get them out of the fight or just pressure them enough to where they aren't able to do as much as they would probably like. It almost feels like when Ash first released with that Mercy Boost and Bob comes out with Kitsune Rush and Mail. This is a very expensive fight. And EKU is down two players already off the bat. Both supports. However, they're able to get Neptunica and Sinister down out of the fight before anything else happens. Whisper getting a pick on Ash, coming out with the tire, getting a pick on May. This man and his tires are insane tonight. Getting pick by pick, being able to secure fights. Whisper taking out Roadhog, saving the fight. That was a very, very expensive fight from EKU. Just simply countered by a simple play of Junkrat. And some people may not uh, agree with the tire usage there near the end of the fight. I like it. It secures them that fight. So Whisper has been able to build up these tires rel relatively quickly. Uh, Small Gang as well with that opening Pulse Bomb onto the Mercy, able to build them up very quickly as well. So uh, not an expensive fight coming in from South Alabama, especially seeing how they do build those up rather quickly. Yeah, and I'm not saying, I don't think that's a bad choice either because South Alabama has three ults going into this next fight while EKU has maybe one and two with the Mercy ult potentially coming out and it really was not expensive at all. So I don't think that that tire was a bad use at all. It secured the fight, secured the, the they were able to push the payload back and was able to secure everything for them that they needed in this situation. Potentially even taking this mo momentum and changing it. Yeah, Ash does kill onto the Ash. But immediately gets rezzed by their Mercy. That Mercy is insane with this pocket on that Ash. And Sinister falls, speaking of the Ash. There good goes fortune of the Ash. Yeah. A, a nice um, res coming in onto the Ash from that early pick from Whisper. Ash able to pick off uh, Sinister and Small Gang. Open up the fight for EKU. A, a tire coming in Here from Whisper. Gets tire. Two. A double kill on Ash and Mercy. This man is insane. You would have expected that Ash to be able to see that tire and destroy it, but no. Whisper is able to maneuver it around and getting four of them in this fight, completely stopping this push. Once again, one man army out here. This Junkrat is insane. Yep. USA has four ults going into this next fight. This is awesome. Yeah, South is, um, South's ace up their sleeve is definitely Whisper. Whisper is able to win a lot of these team fights for them with two or so kills with a tire and then cleaning up the rest with his uh, mind shots. Um, nice place coming in from Whisper from the side of South Alabama. I think this next fight is going to be a very big heavy Q fight for both teams. Bob comes out immediately at the start of this fight. They're putting a lot of focus on the Bob. However, we may see fall at small game fall. First flex slam goes down. Neptunica gets DMX. Oh, this yeah, is I think South Alabama needs a die card here or get out if they can. It is not a winnable fight for them whatsoever. I say oh, that. Whisper is still alive. Whisper D Mex the Diva. He is at 72% with that tire. This could be interesting to see how he plays this. He's going straight up into the air to fight the Ash. Gets the Mercy pick. However, dies to Dynamite. Trying to get saved by Flex Slam. Neptunic is able to get out there with the Diva Bomb. Not a bad push. Both Kitsune rushes come out. Mayos come out. This is a battle of the queue. Sinister tried to pop B. Did he get it off? I think he got it off. However, it does to no avail. Small game going around, killing the Ash. If he can get a pick on the May, and he's unsuccessful. However, Tire comes out. Flex Slam's able to stall. No value in Tire. That to, uh, Flex Slam falls to the, the, the enemy D.Va. Whisper can get a kill on, on May. Whisper could save it, as it is three squishies. Sinister and Neptunica are there with him to support. This could be a turnout for USA. This fight may not be over just yet. May is Diva back in mech. This is kind of dangerous as Ash is able to return. This fight could go either way. This is the final fight to be able to return to this map. Neptune able to get a pick on the Mercy. Punchline able to get a pick on the Ash. EKU's Diva, D-Mech. 
Oh my god, Neptunica's coming out with multiple kills, getting it. May is the only one left. She falls off and C9's off the point, no longer allowing the stall. And South Alabama takes the third map, closing out the series. 3-0 against EKU. Oh man, yeah. that was awesome. Yeah, very hard fought um, third map coming in from EKU. They had five and a half minutes coming into third, was not able to capture that. And unfortunately for EKU, they fall to South Alabama 3-0 in a full sweep. Yeah, and... All right. So, yeah, thank you everyone who turned into today's stream. A uh, huge shout out to both USA and EKU players for volunteering their time and being incredible sports uh, throughout the entire series. We hope to see you next week for the next match. Thank you.